This is my uh, speed Arduino board. USB controller is on board with a standard type B connector. What that means is that uh, when you plug in the USB, it switches this MOSFET off, which will disable the Bluetooth module. Bluetooth module can either go on this side of the board and then have a, a cable to an antenna um, antenna outside the case or alternatively it can connect on the bottom of the board up that way and then have the end of the uh, board Bluetooth board with the antenna hanging out at the end of the case um, also on board is a uh, wideband controller circuit which I haven't soldered on yet um, four coil outputs, four high current injector outputs two other high current outputs for uh, boost control and um, idle control solenoid um, ULN2003 on the board which is that part here so it'll drive uh, four or six relays directly I forget how many are wired up um, on the back is uh, switch mode power supply more protection up there fair bit of protection on the input as well uh, more of the high current MOSFETs. There's also a circuit to monitor like in cabin temperature or board temperature. And also because I ran out of pins and I wanted to have a few options for other things like if I was running external map sensor or external O2 or flex fuel, there's like two pins I can configure to do four different things. Um, a few bodges because I did it wrong, but um, I might populate the wideband and make sure it actually works. I haven't put the MOSFET on for it yet either. So all that for the wideband is through that one connector so it's got its own ground to chassis rather than using ground on the main connector. And that's a bodge. Uh, on board, I think it's a four bar map sensor if I want or I've got a through hole connector so I can stick a through hole part just in the case somewhere and run it. Well, as I showed in the other photo, out through that which is how the onboard map sensor would be connected as well. That's the plan anyway. And that's where that's up to. Bye.